Hey there, this is Akshay Nadan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'll be talking about 10 cool advanced full stack development projects, right? That if you believe that you are you have covered the intermediate steps and stages, and now you think that you can make some advanced projects, here is your go. And you can just make these projects and just glorify your resume, right? So I'll be quick in this video. I won't take much of your time, right? So uh, my first step, my first project is going to be social dashboard. So in this dashboard, what you need to do is just use APIs of LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, and Twitter or uh, threads, and just try to make your own dashboard. So in this dashboard, you can actually see your analysis or how your content is doing, how your uh, things are doing. So in a single dashboard, on a single web dashboard or mobile dashboard, you can actually analyze all of your social media platforms instead of just going into LinkedIn, going into Instagram or going into threads and then seeing the individual dashboards, individual analysis dashboards, just build a dashboard which uses, which leverages the power of all these three APIs and does the work for you, right? And in this analysis dashboard, later on you can integrate post once feature. So just upload a content from this dashboard once and it is going to post in uh, uh, like uh, from your side in all the three platforms at the same time. So you can leverage these three APIs three, four APIs for the social media platform and use this and make this dashboard, right? So this should be a first advanced full stack development project because it has your own server. It, you have to make your own backend. You have to make your own front end, right? And this is quite uh, advanced because you need to understand the JSON structure, the response structure of these APIs and then uh, collaborate, like the, try to make a single data structure, single class model for all of these three responses and then show the data. So this is quite advanced. Next will be my own clothing store, right? So this is not a simple e-commerce application I'm trying to tell you to build. In this clothing store, you can integrate OpenCV, computer vision, right? That sees your body and then tries to analyze which clothes can actually fit on you or can look good on you. So in, first of all, you can just to begin, you can build a simple e-commerce store which shows images and user can uh, add the products in the cart and uh, buy the product but later on add computer vision that sees your body and then decide which cloth can look good on you right so this will be your next full stack project it has ai it has ml it has a uh, computer vision it has server uh, like it has your back end it has your front end it is a full stack project ai generated blog platform build a platform this is simple build a platform uh, which helps users to write blogs through ai right people don't write people don't uh, like writing content much, right? Especially the developers. So try to build a platform for the developers itself where they just do prompt engineering and it is going to generate blogs for them. So it has AI. You can use open AI APIs and it has your front end as your back end. So it is a full stack project. Next is a WebSocket support chat. So build a real time chat application as a support chat. You know, all the applications, all the websites, all the web apps have their support chat where you can chat with their uh, support team. So build a real time chat application and just try to build like a model so that all these companies can use that use your project or you can you utilize this support chat in your all in all of your applications. So this includes web sockets. So that means it includes building your own backend server. It includes your front end. Definitely. It includes uh, understanding how real time chat applications work. What is web socket? It's just an upgrade to your HTTP connection, right? Next is your smart home automation. So here I comes to here I come to IOT applications. So for IoT, you need to learn about what uh, uh, Bluetooth, uh, how Bluetooth works, how it can, how you can use your React plugins or Flutter plugins to communicate with through the Bluetooth. What are MQTT controllers? So these IoT applications you can build, and this includes building your own server. So your server should be lightweight. Your front end should be lightweight, right? Uh, not your front end should be lightweight. Front end can be heavy. Uh, front end can be heavy because you will be definitely using your mobile app for this but your some kind of your backend should be lightweight because that is going to communicate with your iot application and iot application don't have much ram right so this you should make next is your uh, dynamic video player for e-learning so this is a cool project which i always wanted to build so in this application what is going to happen you have udemy in udemy you play videos right but in this dynamic video player app at some point the video is going to stop it is going to ask a question to the users and if the user fail, then the next part of the video is going to change. It is again going to revise the concepts. But if the user gave the correct answer, then the next part is going to be different. It is going to become advanced. So this is a dynamic video player. 
Next comes your crypto wallet app. So try to learn uh, how to communicate with smart contracts, learn some kind of blockchain. So this includes building a smart contract. This includes building a front end. So this is again a full stack application, which includes blockchain. Next year, no notion backed website. So notion backed website means uh, all your content of your website is going to be at your notion. Your front end is going to communicate through the notion APIs at your notion. And then it can actually show the content on your website. So here you're using notion APIs. So here in this project, I want you to learn how to communicate with third party APIs, right? So this is your next project, full stack, full stack project, right? Next can be your file scanner for viruses and then store in AWS S3 buckets, AWS S3 buckets, right? So in this project, you need to build a front end which helps you upload files. And that uh, file is going to be scanned by the AWS. If there is no virus found, then you can return true and store the file in the S3 buckets. If the virus is found, just don't allow the user to store the file in the S3 buckets. Simple, not simple, but advanced project. Prompt engineered AI person. Just build a person or an AI bot, which is prompt engineered. So here I want you to learn how to make bots, prompt engineered bots that I don't want to, I don't want you to make a complete ML model. You can use OpenAI APIs, but try to learn prompt engineering. It's an important skill in 2023 and 2024 and coming years, right? So learn prompt engineering. So these are the 10 projects that I, uh, I can consider as advanced projects. And I hope that you like this video. Uh, that's it. Uh, if you want to demand any kind of video from me, just put that in the comment section. Or if you want me to teach backend, uh, also let me know in the comment section. Till the next part, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.